in case of frozen shoulder the movement is restricted in the capsular pattern primarily we have restriction of abduction external rotation and internal rotation i am uh, dr uma shankar mohanty founder president of uh, manual therapy foundation of india let us discuss about very important condition frozen shoulder there is movement is restricted in capsular pattern so in capsular pattern means if we look into the skeletal component there is restriction of abduction movement restriction of external rotation movement and restriction of internal rotation movement and typically it is the antero inferior capsule which develops the tightness in case of frozen shoulder we have restriction of abduction internal rotation and restriction of external rotation that is the capsular pattern most effective glide to treat the frozen shoulder is the antero inferior glide because it is the antero inferior capsule which is developing the fibrosis so the person is in sitting position distal aspect of the arm is supported fingers are interlocked from the postero superior aspect i am applying a force in antero inferior direction then i can give the various glides primarily we must give the grade three movements in case of fibrosis this is the most effective glide to treat the frozen shoulder and we can apply this technique also in supine lying position the antero inferior glide can be applied in supine lying also the therapist is making a fist the knuckles are kept at the posterior superior aspect of the humerus and the glide is applied antero inferiorly and the most effective glide is the grade 3 for tightness of the capsule and grade 3 is a large amplitude bidirectional movement 50% into the barrier and 50% out of the barrier muscle energy techniques are very useful for the treatment of frozen shoulder along with the mobilization techniques so we go to the restricted position and then we ask the person so now this is the barrier we ask the person to contract away from the barrier to press down and give only one third of the efforts one third effort that is the basic principle of muscle energy technique we have to hold it for 6 to 10 seconds 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 relax then we come to the new barrier press down 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 relax then come to the new position so this is a very effective technique in addition we can give the mt for pectoralis minor to ask the person to do this movement bring it forward and we are gentle one third of the efforts push forward 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 relax okay push forward 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 relax push forward 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 relax the pectoralis minor mt will create additional space between the lateral aspect of the acromion and the greater tubercle of the humerus so that will permit more movements